Hi there, here is Maxima's newly launched smartwatch, the Max Pro Knight. The black gold color that we have received truly looks and feels premium. Let's straight dive into the unboxing. So here is the retail packaging of the Maxima Max Pro Knight. It comes with a round dial and a metal body, Bluetooth phone call feature. On the side here you can see it comes with Google Siri AI voice assistant. Towards the back you can see some of its key features, manufacturing details and the MRP of 7500. But don't worry you can get this for just 2999. So let's quickly unbox it. Unshakable since 1995, we've all heard of Maxima for a very long time and finally here is the watch itself. We'll have a closer look at it in just a moment. Inside we have the user manual and warranty card and finally a pogo pin charging cable that aligns and attaches magnetically as you bring it closer to the watch. So let's have a closer look at the watch. First we'll get rid of this sticker. Oh wow, this looks so premium. The round frame with the curved glass also feels so nice to touch. Now the frame is made of metal and comes with this nice glossy golden finish. It does attract some fingerprints and smudges but that's the thing you got to deal with with glossy bodies. Very nice, gives it a such a premium feel. Single button on this side, nice soft silicon bands. This comes with a buckle designed with the Max Pro branding on it. By the way, the buckle color is gold, color coordinating with the frame, looks very nice. Moving towards the back, the back is made of plastic, housing the heart rate sensor and the SP2 sensor in the center, the charging terminals above here. You can also spot the microphone here, which is going to assist you for AI voice assistant and for phone calls. Towards the bottom here is the speaker, which is again going to help you for phone calls. Now these straps also can be replaced with other third party bands, just pull the hook mechanism to release, very convenient. So for a 2,999 rupee watch, the build quality and the designing is really, really amazing. So let's quickly pair it. So you take your Android or iPhone, go to the Play Store and download the app Maxima Smart Fit. Click on add device, take the watch, press the button on the side, there'll be a vibration and you'll see Max Pro Night. Click. And then you'll get a second pairing option to pair for phone calling. Click. And there you go, you're done. That's it. The Max Pro Night comes with IP67 rating. So you can wear it at the gym, for a run, in the rain. In fact, the watch also comes with swim tracking, so you can even wear it in the pool. So let's have a closer look at the display. Press this button on the side to wake the display, press this again to turn it off. Now this is a 1.28 inch IPS LCD display and let me tell you that the text is really really crisp. The interface is really smooth, the color reproduction is absolutely amazing. Vibrant and super deep blacks. Check that out. Very nice, interface is so smooth, it's really fun to use. Now one of my favorite parts of this watch is the menu style. Check this out. They have this really nice unique ring style menu. So technically if you choose a mode here, that is the icon that will show in the center. Like it's showing settings, phone calling, music, camera shutter, the weather, SPO2, timer, sports modes, heart rate, sleep tracking, step counter, and there's also gaming mode. So if you want to go into gaming, you select that and you come in here. We have two pre-installed games. There's Youngbird and 204. Now if you go into Young Gun and you press this, you can technically play the game on the watch display. Isn't that really cool? Oops, not too good at it. We'll also check out this one. I was playing this some while back. So if you like to play games, I think this is going to be a good fun experience for you. Okay. So similarly, if you go into the settings, we come here, we choose settings and we go in here. We have stopwatch, we have alarms, you have timer, you have the menu view. You can change the menu view to list type. So for those who are getting confused with the ring type, can also actually even choose the list type, which is really, really convenient. Then there's brightness levels. Then in ring alert, you can choose the mode, vibration only, ring alert or mute. Similarly, you can also choose the intensity, strong or soft. Then you have phone on off, call reset, vibration on, power saver mode, reset and power off. Then if you come into the home page, swipe from up, you can access the quick toggles. There's the phone calling on off option. You can turn it off if you don't want to receive phone calls on your watch. Then there's the power saving mode, torch, vibration, brightness levels and settings. If you swipe from down, you can access your missed call alerts and notification. The interface is really one of the best parts of this watch. It's super smooth and really, really easy to use. 
Now let's come to phone calling. Now here is phone calling. And if you come in here, you have recent call alerts, you have dial pad and contacts. All right, so I'll just get the phone in the image so that you can see. I'm going to the dial pad and I'm just randomly dialing a number. Dial. There you can see it's making a call. So right now the audio hearing is actually from the speaker of the watch. It's quite clear and it's also really loud. You can send the call back to the phone. You can even change the volume directly from here or you can end the call directly from here. There you go. Call has been disconnected. Similarly, you can also answer incoming calls directly on your watch. You can see the caller's name with an option to reject the call, answer the call or silent the ringer. Now, as you answer the call, you will be able to talk directly using your watch itself. You can mute the microphone on the watch. You can send this call directly to your phone and you can even control the volume from here. You can end the call directly from the watch itself. Very, very convenient. The phone calling experience was really good, clear and crisp. I used it for a few calls and the other person didn't complain of any echo or any kind of disturbance. However, outdoors, the story is a little different. It did capture a lot of sound around me, but still I can say it was pretty much usable. Also, I have to mention the display can get bright up to 515 nits. So even if you're using this watch outdoors, it's very clearly visible. Then we also receive notifications directly on your watch. You can see the sender's name and you can read the message directly here. The text is really, really clear. No problem with that. However, you cannot reply to these incoming messages. So before we check for the health monitoring, let's see how good the sensors are. What we're going to do is go into heart rate and see if it works on the table. And there you go. It says, please wear it properly and try again. Now let's wear the watch. And there you go. We're finally wearing the watch. Now let's test again. And there you go. Heart rate is 69. Let's check SpO2. And there you go. We get 98%. I'm also glad to share that the Maxima has actually even shared what is the normal range of SpO2. It should be between 96 and 99%. Now this watch comes with basic health monitoring features like there's heart rate sensor, there's the SpO2 sensor. Though quite accurate and I still always say it, use it just for reference and not for medical purposes. The Max Pro Night comes with 30 workout modes. Let's check it out. We go into the menu, come into the sports modes. You can see walking, running, cycling, skipping, badminton, basketball, football, swimming, tennis, rugby, golf, yoga, fitness, basketball, elliptical machine, indoor cycling, free training, row machine, trail running, skiing, bowling, dumbbells, sit-ups, on foot, indoor running, outdoor running, cricket, kabaddi. It has a good mix of indoor and outdoor workouts. Everything that you can ask for is here. Now, if you go into your workouts, if you click on it, there'll be a countdown. And once the workout starts, there'll be a timer. There'll be calories burned, beats per minute. And if you swipe right, you can also see your heart rate. If you go in further, you can pause your workout or end the workout directly from here. Now, Maxima hasn't shared the exact size of the battery, but they claim it will last for about 10 days with typical use. However, keep in mind that it would be a lot lesser when used for phone calls. Let's check out the Maxima SmartFit app. Right here on the home page in today, you can see the steps, sleep tracking, your heart rate, your blood oxygen levels, your outdoor run and workout. If you come to the second option, you can see that the watch is paired. You can see the battery percentage. If you come into watch faces, here are the watch faces that come pre-installed in the watch. If you come into more watch face, you'll see a huge collection here. Check that out. Really, really nice. Similarly, you can also set custom watch face. You come back here, click on edit and select a picture from your phone gallery. There you go, click OK. You can change the time position. You can keep it below. You can change the color of that to black. And then you can save. The watch face will be transferred to the watch. Coming back, you have notifications. You can choose from which apps you want notifications and from which apps you don't. Then there's alarms. You can set alarms directly from here. Camera shutter, favorite contacts, in others, you have find device. You can change the time format to 12 hours, 24 hours. Unit system, do not disturb. Continuous heart rate detection. Control phone music. Battery saving. Language. Auto lock feature can be changed from 5 seconds to 30 seconds on the watch. Then you have quick reply. Then you have drink water reminders. Weather. Psychological cycle reminder that is menstrual cycle tracking for women. Favorite contacts and software updates if there are any. The only con for this app for me is that you cannot share data with Strava or Google Fit. Apart from that, it's really easy to use and complete. 
The Maxima Max Pro Knight is a looker. That metal build with the gold finish is amazing. Rest it has all the features that you look for in a smartwatch, Bluetooth calling, health monitoring, 30 sports modes, smooth interface and of course games. Games on a watch is not something you see very often. You can buy the Max Pro Knight from Amazon for just 2999. I'll leave the links below in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them all. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.